What's going on YouTube? Out here working hard, man. It's your boy Sight Dolo, man. You know, I know a lot of y'all probably know me as a rapper, but today y'all know me as a gardener. I'm finna get out here in the backyard and show y'all how I do my thug fizzle, you know, when I got uh, time on my hand. Show you my uh, my little piece going, uh, aka ghetto going, slash victory going. I'm sure a lot of you familiar with that victory going and whatnot. But like I said, you know, uh, hard work out here. So for anybody watching this, uh, feel free, leave a comment. Give me whatever tips you have for me to help me better my garden so I can survive, save some money, and um, like I say again, uh, survive out here during these hard economic times. Now, I'm pre watered my collard greens already, and I made a video proud of this one, and I had to erase it or whatnot. My weavers say they weren't feeling it. Not that I give a damn about who's watching this and what they think about hot, sweaty me, and, 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 and the rapper being in the garden. It is what it is. <laughs> All right, look, let me get y'all over here. Y'all come on over here, YouTube. Y'all come on over here. Now, what I'm over here watering right now is my doggone spineless okra. Now, keep in mind, these okra gonna produce. I mean, I'm talking about when I say produce, literally, every other day, they produce an okra. So, those are my spineless okra over here. And here's my emerald okra over here. I'm gonna get up to about five, maybe six feet tall. So, you gotta be sure. Watch where you plant these things at right here. If you're planning on growing any okra this summer. Okay, over here we got the snap beans, right here. I was told for every 12 plants it's going to produce 100 pounds of beans a week. Looking forward to it. Pretty much the new school and the old school dope, man, when it comes to these vegetables. Y'all know how it go. People, you have to eat. Right here, I'm making very good use of my time out here in the backyard. Normally I have the children out here. Wifey say children can't come out there. She don't want them on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I see it, wife. <laughs> yeah, just keep judging the book by the cover. Y'all come on over here and look at these big pretty squash plants over here. Now y'all missed it earlier. Now I had to what I had to do was take these aluminum foils off right here. I learned this from YouTube. I might have some more on. Let me check real quick. Oh, I got one more down here. What you want to do is put the aluminum foil around these squash plants. I was told. Bugs would crawl up under the root and give your squash plants diseases. So this right here helps to prevent it. Or uh, maybe a tissue roller. I haven't used those. It was too. Yeah. But you just want to do it in the beginning to keep from it getting diseased. From my understanding. But they're coming along pretty fine over here. You may have to uh, do some transplant because these things they tend to get big and you're able to feed the whole neighborhood here. But uh, here's my broccoli right here. They need plenty of sun and plenty of water. They coming along fine. I retrieved like 25 of these plants so far and I have to remove many more just as these. Maybe four or five more. I find out which one of them are It is hard. Now let's go over here. We're gonna go to garden number two over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna speed it up because it's hot as hell out here, y'all. I mean, as y'all can see, uh, the garden has already been watered, so I'm just gonna give it a little bit more here. It's a little bit more for insurances, the organic lettuce. Right here we got the romaine. Of course you guys know about the romaine lettuce. The romaine lettuce tend to bud up. And it's coming along. I'll give it another week. I better come out here and pick me a salad. And uh, still got a little bit more growing. I'm gonna do some transplant and separate them. For the most part, got cabbage over here. The deer is gonna walk through my dog on garden number two over here. If you notice, you see the deer tracks through here and shit. You know what I'm saying? But I, uh, for the most part, put up my scarecrow. Y'all gonna meet him in a minute. I got my scarecrow, and you can use a bar of soap or maybe some pepper in the house to keep those deers away from your uh, garden. You know what I'm saying? They be back here kicking it like, you know what I mean? Karate and all that good stuff. Okay, but they don't walk all up through here. Here go the carrots. Carrots on deck. Bell peppers coming up. We may have to do the transplant over here and then put those onion downs over here. Okay, got some more carrots. Uh, deer tracks. Oh, let's get up through here. Up through there. There we go. Yeah, and uh, by the way, those of y'all who watching this right here who know me or heard my music or whatnot, uh, y'all feel free to go to datpiff.com. D-A-T-P-I-F-F.com. And I'll uh, get that site Dolo CD for the free. Y'all ain't even got to spend no money. It ain't even about me trying to extract revenue from you guys. Go and check out the CD. Got plenty of garden tips on there. Love tips on there. All that street shit on there. <laughs> Even spirituality in there. Y'all quick front, man. Y'all trying to act as though it, this stuff is not real. But these are things that we're dealing with. A lot of people scared to confront them. 
talk about him and deal with these situations. But again, we back to the grind. I'm gonna go over here, take a sneak peek at grind number one again. Check out the setup. And then we out, you two, you know what I'm saying? But again, it's Psych Dolo Ghetto Grind, man. Uh, yeah, Psych Dolo hiding up under here. Like Ghetto Grind, man, hot as hell out here, man. It's hard work right here, man. It's an old school dope man uh, job right here. Old school dope man. But, but, but what goes around comes around, so we back at it. In fact, oh, let, me, let me sneak down here real quick, you two. Y'all walk down here, step down here one second. Y'all check out my park area in my ghetto. This is where I kick it at. Another park 